So, hello guys. Hello guys from India. Hello guys from Brazil. Hello guys from United States of America. Hello guys from United Kingdom. Hello guys from United Arab Emirates. Hello guys from Manchester United also. Hello guys from Romania, Poland, Greece, Turkey and all the countries in the world which are in the chat right now. I guess mostly from Brazil and Turkey uh, are the people but still greetings for all other people too so today we'll do this uh, character who is from a chinese artist i believe link in the description of the video it was suggested i think in the channel of discord by the way i feel a little bit oh but uh, it's not illness it's not sickness it's uh, my stupidness because i ate a lot of chocolate walnuts today <laughs> and that's that's stupid obviously and now i'm a little bit heavy feeling heavy 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 uh, <laughs> not heavy hearted heavy stomached and i will show you what i mean peanut mountains oh no th those are peanuts yeah uh chocolate peanuts uh let me show you so there are a couple of peanuts wrapped in white chocolate it's pretty cool pretty cool and also amazingly i have a couple of peanuts wrapped in black chocolate so <laughs> and i have a few boxes of those here obviously it was not a very good idea but nonetheless we are streaming we have pakistan here really thailand very nice very nice pakistan and thailand not so much people from Thailand though, because um, there it's a little bit like a morning, something like this. I think Thailand was seven hours uh, ahead of, of us, so it should be around three in the morning in Thailand. So yeah, people who are awake for the, uh, at that time are wonderful. When I was young, I was staying awake for longer periods of time and uh, for like all night without too much issue. Now, uh, I guess it will be much more difficult to do so. But that's fine. There is time for everything. Hi, Nico. I'm the guy who was asking you in DM about sculpting. I'd like to thank you for your compliments. Okay. It's very cool. Uh, I mean... Uh -huh. You see, I'm not complimenting anybody. If your work is good, I say your work is good. If your work is not so good, I say you need more work. Or I can go to the point to say that your work is bad. And people will say, what, 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 Nico? But why, Nico? I was your biggest fan. And now I will be your nightmare your biggest enemy because you insulted my artwork and Nico I will hunt you down and I will murder your family in front of your eyes no no this is too much I mean yeah. probably it's too much even for people who hate me I mean relax it's nothing uh, you know now we don't have too much polygons although it's kind of start to look like the concept but the eyebrows are a little bit too white probably I will just Pin them a bit okay uh, the neck should be wider our favorite muscle which all of you know which it is but I will say it anyway sternocleidomastoid because you know uh, it's no use to not say that muscle I mean sternocleidomastoid we have to say it it's so much fun to say that muscle so to say it uh, to show that we know this muscle to everybody when I'm doing streams you know that I always say this muscle because it's so cool hello from blender 3.0 which was in the beginning of the year i remember 3.0 was so so long ago and now we are only at 3.32 i think or something like this so we are not that far ahead with blender development this year i was expecting from blender and the roadmap was um showing that we will get substance painter style of texturing in blender but now i see 
that probably they left it for the next year. For me, that was one of the best and one of the most awaited improvements in Blender. But obviously, I have to, I will have to wait for that to happen. Mm. Hopefully, it will be next year because uh, I hope that next year they will not say uh, it will be the year 2024 and then 2025 and then it never happened. Hopefully, that will not be the case, but we will see. We'll see because we never know. You never know if you don't go. You never shine if you don't glow. Hey now, you're an all star, but you came on. Get hi from Russia. Oh, I forgot Russia. I forgot Ukraine. Uh, I mean, of course, people. Oh, Nigeria, Nepal. Wow. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, I usually don't say Nepal since I don't expect people from Nepal to, you know, uh, watch here. But India and Pakistan, I expect also expect Brazil. Of course, Brazil is pretty active in this channel, Turkey also, a lot of Turkish people, Romanians here and there you can see, but Nepal, hmm, wasn't expecting that that much, Russians, a lot of Russians, yes, Argentina is here, very good, Vui uh, I hope you mean it in, uh, in a good sense, uh, yeah, Patrisayushi, I will translate that as you're amazing, in Russian. Hopefully I'm not wrong. Hopefully it's not something uh, bad or something. Yeah. Translation. I'm not saying I'm the best in Russian, right? But I manage. I manage a little bit. My Russian. <laughs> Nico, you're half Russian, half Turkish, and uh, maybe a little bit Bulgarian. <laughs> I don't know that much Turkish though. And uh, I know Turkish Kunishmelut fan. That's what I know, you know. Which means don't speak Turkish, por favor. Uh, please. Please. Turkish Kunishmelut fan. Pretty cool, right? E teşekkürler, arkadaş. I know it. It's, it's easy. Easy. Teşekkürler is very, very easy. So now let's push the upper lip a little bit. Okay, so uh, the face is uh, has to be more, uh, you know, cut, like from like axe cut, a little bit cut here and there to push some areas more, just to have it like better looking. Of course, it will take a little bit of time, but hopefully we have time. How much? Okay, eight minutes into the video, we already have some face, so we are not in a bad shape here, even with my a little bit of not feeling well uh, with all the chocolate peanuts I have eaten, but obviously it's cool. Oniko, are you sculpting yourself today? Uh, <laughs> basically, hopefully I'm not looking exactly like this, but yeah, I guess thank you. I don't know. <laughs> no. This is not exactly thank you, but it's a cool looking guy. I, I would say that uh, many people will want to look this kind of intimidating. Like this guy. It will be cool for many people. But usually we are looking like normal guys with uh, thin necks and with big heads here. I mean, because we have some brain. Nico Maxwell is implementing their rendering engine for ZBrush and Cinema 4G integration, so it's starting also. They want around ooh, uh, $100 a year for updates. That's cool. I mean, ZBrush is getting better, obviously, with uh, this real time end render. Well, Redshift or whatever it was, I'm not sure how it was called. But uh, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Pretty cool news for Blender. Uh, for Red. Uh, for render <laughs> yeah pretty cool news for render but for blender the cool news are not yet here but blender is always cool because it's free so yeah if you of course if you are a, a power user what i mean by that is you are using zbrush for work and you are making a lot of money with zbrush i guess 
you don't need to consider Blender, but I'm seeing more and more colleagues, people that I work with or I worked with that are good sculptors, they're starting to consider Blender. They're starting to say, uh, let's see what Blender can do. I will start, bl start Blender just to see what's happening. But I say, but you're working with ZBrush pretty well. You're making so much money. Why? Because I want to develop myself. So Blender is starting to take uh, ground, I think. The big companies already are taking notes, uh, I think. Because uh, in my opinion, in just it, it's just my opinion. Max, 3D Max is obsolete already. I mean, it's so much worse than Blender in terms of fast working. In Blender, everything is much faster with the short keys and everything, which are default. They are by default. In Max, you have some short keys, but in order to work fast, you need to customize it a lot which why should you do that since blender is free and max is pretty much a lot of money still if they want to do the right thing they will release 3d max for free and maya also for free and then there will be a competition for blender although you cannot sculpt that much in maya or max so they still will not be a huge competition of blender Good evening from Romania, Nico. What's your favorite CG movie? Ooh, I don't know. I don't know. But Dune was pretty cool, right? It's not probably my favorite. Probably Avatar is uh, one of my favorites. But still not the... I mean, I don't have a favorite movie. I, I love the all the superhero movies, by the way. All the Iron Man movies. Not all the mm, Hulk movies are super cool. But I like the, the recent ones. The first ones are a little bit strange. The CG was not that good, of course. And we're talking about CG movies, so the CG should be right on point. Gravity was very cool, also, with Sandra Bullock. A pretty good CG movie. And, of course, Love, Death and Robots. Uh, the recent uh, movies was were <laughs> kind of amazing. So, yeah, if that answers the questions. Hi bro, I love your videos and I like to sculpture. Exactly what my point is. Uh, I mean, if I inspire some people to sculpt and to develop themselves, I think my job here is done. And also, if you buy my courses, but that's another topic of another um, thing. We will talk about it a little bit later. I will have to talk about my courses every time since... I am kind of relying on that, on the sales of my courses to live right now. And obviously I'm do not doing pretty well because from the money of the, of the courses I'm buying, this shit, you know, chocolate peanuts, you know, couple of peanuts covers in chocolate. It's just, wow, it's so, so good. But if you eat too many of those, it's now now I'm feeling a little bit, you know, not so not so fine. So uh, if you want me to lose weight and not eat those scraps, you stop buying my courses and I will not have money for that things. Obviously, my children also will uh, be hungry, but at least we will be healthy probably. Who knows? Healthy but hungry. Is that possible? Yeah, probably the the healthy hunger we will have amazing stuff 3ds is garbage i uh, used used it for 17 years never going back same here i've used it for uh more than 15 years probably and uh yeah not exactly 17 but i learned it in 2004 2005 so yeah 17 years for me too I'm not uh, using it anymore, so yeah. But sometimes you need to just do something. Uh, for example, some client wants the final file in inside 3D Max. Who am I to deny that they are paying? So I uh, just open Max, you know, import the file from Blender as an FBX or OBJ, uh, do some you know tweaks inside Max and send it to them. You know, 
that's how I use Max. And I have, let's say here, if uh, the the people from from Autodesk are not listening, I haven't ever paid for Max. You know, I always use the non-paid version. You know, non-paid version. Amazing. It's normal. It's normal. Max is super expensive. So now, uh, since I am a model citizen, I'm using Blender, and uh, I'm pre I'm feeling pretty well. I'm sleeping well. When I was using Max, since I don't pay for it, I couldn't sleep well for a lot of time, you know, because I felt guilty. But now I'm feeling super cool that I'm using Blender. And many people under the comments of the videos in this channel are asking, which is the software you're using? Uh, you know, they don't know Blender. But, I mean, even if they know Blender or don't know Blender, it doesn't matter. What matters is the software is not the point here. The point is the skill. Thanks for reading my comment. Yeah, I can't read all the comments, of course. Yeah. Take the quick bistri, but the most to delish fasnovnam partreti. You are so fast. What are you doing uh, mainly? Portraits. Uh, so am I doing mainly portraits? Probably the guy is asking in Russian. I think, no, I'm doing mostly characters, whole characters, but the thing that I love the most to do are heads, human heads, female, male, uh, you know, whatever, all the human heads I like to do. That's why I will do a course soon. And I'm talking about this course for a long time already, and I'm not doing it which is making me also mad myself mad to myself since i haven't started this course about head sculpting exercises to just uh, make you better with head sculpting many people are come on nico i want this course right now because i'm struggling and stuff like this i say okay okay i will do it but i'm so fucking lazy and I just don't do it. Amazingly. Yeah. Ah, uh, my f my uh, watch just said that I have made a sale in Flip Normals, which I don't quite advertise here in the channel that much. I advertise uh, the art station store because I make most money from sales there. I advertise Udemy because it's like one very big store. But Flip Normals is okay. Yeah. I thought you are Puratsu, but you are making a live video. Wow. <laughs> MPC, you mean? Or what? I'm making live videos uh, for a month and, so, and a half probably already. So a lot of live videos in this channel. You can watch them. And they are all long. They are always with a lot of talk with me. By the way, yesterday let me tell you yesterday i made a live it was in facebook and uh, in twitch it was not in my channels it was with the arc academy online which is in bulgaria uh, because i will do an online course for bulgarians in bulgarian uh, for absolute blender beginner course it will be but what i mean by that is there was a question in this uh, course uh, AI, about AI. Is AI a danger to us? And I, I said like this. So, when 3D printing arrived in the last few years, uh, the traditional sculptures, they were probably a little bit concerned. But now, the 3D printing is here and it's very affordable, but traditional sculptures still have their jobs. If you are a good in traditional sculpt sculpting, uh, the 3D printing is not doing you any harm. Back in the days when photography came, and it was mass photography, um, you know, the people who are drawing pictures and portraits, they kind of were concerned that this will take their jobs. But, obviously, there are still people who are making portraits, people are paying them money for that and stuff like that. So it's still 
a job. So, I guess AI will be kind of the same. It will come, it will be here to stay, it will help us do our job, but you know, you cannot... Uh, for example, in the big studios, uh, they are using scans, right? So this means that uh, the anatomy skills of the people are obsolete. You don't need any more anatomy skills, right? But it's not exactly like this. Because the people who are working on the scans, so the scans will be uh, good for the game, they have to have enormous anatomy knowledge. They have to be very good sculptures. So the very good sculptures still have jobs. Digital sculptures. Nico, can you sleep well without paying for Blender? Exactly, I can very, very well. Nico, good evening. Are you doing a self-portrait today? Ha ha ha. That was already said. Thank you. Isn't his chin a bit too big? Yeah, probably, but we'll see. I will, I will fix it. I mean, this, sh this shouldn't be exactly the same as the concept. Perfectly. For two hours, it's difficult. Maybe if I have more time, I probably will be able to do it better. But now, let's just concentrate on the overall feeling of the character. Overall, you know, thing. Nico, why multi-resolution sucks? Can you elaborate on that? Yes, multi-resolution sucks because uh, multi-resolution and also the subdivision modifier are making Blender uh, crawl. For example, let me tell you an example. My uh, Demon Hunters course was at the end far less polygons than Lobo course. With the Demon Huntress, I have I have had a lot of multi-resolution and subdivision modifiers uh, because of the armors. And it was crawling, it was lagging, it was just not workable at all. It, it was bad. But Lobo, I just collapsed everything. And it was working like a charm with the same computer. So that's why I think collapsing is your best bet in this. Not multi res mode, you don't need the lower version. If you, for some reason, need the lower version. So you you have uh, you have um, put the multi-resolution modifier. You put it, you bump the resolution, and you apply it. Then you work. And then when you need the lower resolution, you put again the multi-resolution modifier. You de-resolutionize it. There is an option, and it should be okay. So don't worry. Too much everything is fixable except your health when you stay too much in front of the computer so if there are people here who are spending too much time 10 to 12 hours a day 30 hours a day 40 50 hours every day on your computer working yes you will be good very quickly but be careful with your health. Be very careful. Take a nickel for streaming. You're the most helpful person to me at the moment. At the movement. Much of therapist job listening to you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. You feel sleepy. When I count to ten, you will fall to a deep sleep. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, you're closing your eyes, eight, nine, ten, relax, the therapy begins. Okay, you can wake up now. Let's continue. Hi Nico, I see you direct and I want to, to use Blender. But it does not recognize the pressure of my tablet when it's on a program. This does not happen. Do you know any solution? Not exactly. Probably this happens with some tablets, but not with Wacom tablets. So I don't, I don't know. I mean, this kind of specific questions are not exactly my speciality. But of course, you needed to ask because I could know the answer, but I don't in this particular instance. Sorry about that. Some answers are not exactly uh, mine to give. Yeah, I know. It's difficult, but true. It's sad also, but true. You know it's sad, but true. 
Hey, hate, I'm your hate, I'm your hate when you want love. Pay, pay, pay the price, pay for sun, for nothing's fair. They, they'll be betrayed. They told that it's better to subdivide a few times and then apply the multi res modifier, because the problem was the way it does the calculations. Exactly. Applying the, uh, the multi res modifier is your best bet, in my opinion. And also the subdivision modifier. They need to be applied in order for Blender to work smoothly. If you leave them, then you will have a lot of issues and lag and all that jazz. Yeah, many people, without knowing, are thinking that uh, the multi res modifier is working like the subdivisions in ZBrush, which it doesn't exactly. Uh, I also thought about that this is the case, but it's not. So, yeah. With practice, I just realized it's not exactly the case. That's why I know already, and I'm telling you, and I am kind of uh, warning you guys, use it, but then apply it at some point. When it's used already. So use it and abuse it, and then apply it. A good, good tip for all of you multi-res guys out there. Out there. Look at the window. Boo, 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 boo. Doesn't take a genius to realize that the rain is gone. There's a smile on your face. Eyes. I can see the sun. Hi, Nico. Look like Sandman Marvel Comics. Uh, I haven't seen the Marvel comics of Sandman, but I see the original Sandman, which is not very well drawn, in my opinion. But it's interesting as a story. Mm, yeah, as a story. It's not Marvel, I think. Because Marvel comics are a bit well drawn. The, the Sandman comics is like, eh, you know. Eh, Maybe I don't understand it. Maybe it's uh, super classic and amazingly... A drone, but I just don't get it, you know. It's just not my thing. But, but it's cool, it's cool. I, I get it. I get it. Some things I don't get, you know. <laughs> I get it. No worries. You can call me uh, some kind of thing. It's okay. I get it. Now, what I will do is the following. Very, very, uh, follow very closely what I will do. Now, duplicating the arm, then moving it here, then sub symmetrizing it, then deleting this, and then taking this and putting it in here. Yeah, I know, it's a little bit strange process, but I do it this way. So, if Nico does it this way, probably this is the right way. Or, this is Nico's way, we can say. Nico's way is always the right way, as we already know from this channel. Because this channel is your main source of information about the world. So let me tell you a few things. So, the Ukrainians got um, their city back, Kherson, Kherson city. By the way, Kherson is a pretty interesting city for me, because when I was young and still in my home city, here in Bulgaria, um, in the center of city, there was a cinema. The biggest cinema in the city was in the center. And the name of the, of the cinema is Kherson. We say it in Bulgaria, Kherson. So, Kherson is the name of the biggest cinema and overall the area in the center of my uh, city when I was born was uh, Kherson. Because I think my city and Kherson in Ukraine were kind of something like brotherhood uh, cities or something like this. I'm not sure exactly, but there is something like this in the former Soviet countries. And we were kind of a Soviet satellite country, so yeah. That's just uh, something, uh, you know. Metallica, yeah. Nico, do you know any Brazilian music? Probably, 
but I cannot exactly recall it since I've been in Brazil. And uh, by the way, a fun fact, when I was in Brazil, I was walking with my girlfriend in Rio, in the central, central, central part of Rio, which by the way, the central part of Rio with the big skyscrapers is uh, not very populated in the evening, in the night, because it's, you know, but we were walking and it was kind of dark and kind of, uh, not exactly dark because there are lights on the street, but still it was kind of empty. And it was a little bit scary because empty, you know, what's happening here? This is the central part. And suddenly we were going around the corner when we see uh, people, a lot of people gather in one place. There are tables on the street um, and they were drinking beer and there was something like a little shop. They are selling beer in there and some, mm, some French fries and some other things. And we went there uh, and there was a the music. People were dancing on the street. It was pretty cool. I, and we went there and the beer was the coldest beer I have ever drank. It was so cold, it was painful to drink it. I mean, wow. And it was not that hot in this uh, time of the year in Rio. So, yeah. It was like 20, 20 degrees. It was not ultra you know, cold, but uh, it was... You know. But yeah, we, we have listened to a lot of songs there. So, uh, yeah, I probably have heard a lot of Brazilian songs when I was in Brazil, but I kind of don't remember them since I don't listen to them often. I listen to Metallica, I listen to, um, you know, Red Hot Chili Peppers even. I listen to Limp Bizkit, Pantera, sometimes Manoir and Iron Maiden, Beatles, Rammstein, stuff like this. So your regular music, you know. Just a regular, normal type of music. But it doesn't matter what music you listen to. You can listen to Madonna, for example. I don't listen to Madonna that much. But you can listen to Madonna and you, are, you can be an uh, amazing sculptor. So it doesn't matter what music you listen to. It matter, what matters is the skill. Your sculpting skills matters only. In this channel. In this channel, at least. Maybe in the real world, it matters so much what music you listen or what kind of haircut you have, what clothes you are wearing and stuff like this. Yeah, that matters in the real world. But in this channel, what matters is uh, even not your sculpting skills. Because your sculpting skills could not be very good right now. But if you have the power and the will to learn, that, that's what matters if you want to learn. And also, of course, in this channel, we are having fun. So, having fun also matters. Not taking things too serious also matters. It's amazing. Don't you miss ZBrush? Ah, sometimes, maybe. I miss ZBrush a little bit. And I cry a little bit. Uh, while I sleep, you know, I just cry for ZBrush. But still, I have a ZBrush in my computer. So, if I want to... Uh, for example, open ZBrush, I am absolutely free to do so, but I don't. Because it's a question of principle. I'm always sculpting and making courses about Blender. Why should I open ZBrush? I'm a Blender artist right now, you know, complete. And uh, you know, if they invite me uh, to a Blender Summit someday, I'll be okay to go. I'll say, at last, you're inviting me to this kind of thing. What happened? Why did it took you so long? I was just about to go to 3D code. What's happening here? Relax. You should be more careful with that things. Can you animate these characters? No, I'm not an animator. So I probably shouldn't uh, try even. Select the object, okay. This is some kind of tutorials. The weirdest and longer where to mirror an object. Exactly, yeah. But the idea here is that uh, since the object was kind of crossing the mirror line, if I just mirror it, it will be like this. Yeah, of course, I can just move it a little bit, then mirror it, and then, uh, you know, detach it, and then, you know. But in this way, the original object just stays in place, and the other one, I put it whatever I want. So it's probably a good way. If you know a better way, you can use it. I'm not saying that you have to use my way, because this is my way. My way 
on the highway. You know? Limp Biscuits rocking the space like a Russian roulette just a place in your bed. You know it's sad but you know what I mean and, and everything happened for a reason. I don't even know what I just said. Cause I'm an idiot, a loser, microphone abuser. I have a lie every second I exist, beating up my mind every second with my fist. I don't know about that. I mean, it always looked to me a little bit odd, this kind of thing. It's not super bad, but probably the neck, yes, um, the head itself should be lower. But this is easy to fix. We just have to put it lower, like this. And we have to put it forward like this, and we have to put it sideways like this. But this will be later. We first have to put some ice. Ice, ice, baby. Ice, ice. It's kind of empty because it's part of the city. It's like commercial district, not a place people live at all. Exactly. I, I understood that when I was there. But you know, the crazy drivers... Uh, the crazy drivers of the buses, the crazy bus drivers, are not only in uh, Argentina. They are also in Rio. But in Argentina, they were a little bit crazier. I am almost certain. They were just like, in the morning, come on all the drivers, gather here. Uh, so, today. Today, like every day, you need to bust up your engines and your brakes of your buses. Until midnight, until uh, noon. So, you have four hours to bust up the engines and the brakes of your buses. Go! Now. And they are just trying so hard to do so. Amazing stuff. This is their goal in life. Ah, and also, you have to uh, make all the, the passengers puke. That's an order. Everybody should puke. There should be nobody that is coming out of this bus with a healthy face, you know, everybody should be green. Go! Now! Amazing! Would you like to work on the Blender Studio? On Blender Studio? To work on Blender Studio? Uh, to work in Blender Studio, probably you are asking? Mm, probably, I don't know. If they pay well, why not? Blender is a cool project. I probably could be a part of it, at, but I don't know what I can be useful with. I don't know. So, yeah, it's it's cool, yeah, it's cool. But exactly, I don't know what I can be useful with. My expertise are only character creation. Only. I only use ZBrush, but with always watch Nico. Good sculpting is good sculpting. Exactly. Even if you use, for example, Nomad Sculpt or 3D Code or even Mudbox, which nobody uses anymore, but still, there were good sculpts in Mudbox back in the days. I remember. Pretty good ones. But Mudbox is dead now. Uh, at least we don't hear about Mudbox that much. Let's say ZBrush took over all the, the things. So, yeah. How much time do we have? Oh, 40 minutes already. Ah, we have to hurry up a little bit. Nico, you are staling. You have to hurry. Stal stalemate, mate. Okay. Do you have pasta today? No. Have you tried to post with Mixamo? I once tried to put something in Mixamo, it gave me a mistake, so I just, uh, you know, no. Nico, why you don't make EZK for sculpt the forearm muscles like you did with ears with the question is why? Ah, <laughs> yeah, the question is why. You remembered very well. Uh, so but Maybe I could uh, think of something, but the forearms are a little bit more complex, in my opinion, than the ears. Because the ears, most of the time, are the same shape. The forearms, they are 
uh, changing shapes uh, all over the place. It's it's odd. So it's difficult to make that. But I can think about something at some point when I'm making another anatomy course, which should not be soon. Hopefully, except for the head, which will be which have to be at some point this year. Hopefully, I'll be uh, I will be able to make uh, the course about the head exercises. But as I, I was saying, my other courses are available. They are in our station. They are in Udemy. You can go ahead and check them out. I have absolute beginner character course for Blender. Even if you haven't opened Blender in your life, with this course, you will be able to make a decent character, a mouse with very big glasses. It's very cool. You can check it out in the description of this video. It's paid course, of course. Uh, let's not lie to ourselves that this course is free, but I have a free course in YouTube also for character, character creation. Uh, it's for intermediate users. You should know some Blender to kind of get used to this course, I mean, or do this course. Do this course. I also have a Discord channel or server in which mm, there is a community of artists and people are helping each other. Sometimes even I am giving some uh, bad advice.